It's like we preserved the award-winning revolutionary design of the G3 with its instant access door that gives you access to every internal component in a matter of seconds. But we've reskinned it to reflect its power and elegance in our new pro colors, silver, clear, and a beautiful gray we call graphite. And it's really beautiful. And it is. Let me show you some slides of that. There it is. And again, all of the great things you've loved about the G3 are still there. Instant access to every component inside. And we're going to be selling it in three models. 400, 450, and 500 megahertz. 400 has 64 megabytes of memory all the way up to a quarter gigabyte in the 500. 10 gigabytes of storage all the way up to 27 in the 500. A CD-ROM in the 400, a DVD-ROM in the 450, and a DVD-RAM in the 500, which means you have f over 5 gigabytes of removable storage with a media cost of under $40. Who wants their floppy back? And the prices. <laughs> Our engineering teams have been working hard. Now, we're going to deliver these three models, if you listen to the rumor sites, in January, right? But that's not true, is it? No. We are today shipping the 400 megahertz version. After we get a batch of them off, in a few weeks, we'll start shipping the 450 megahertz version. And a few weeks after that, we'll start shipping the 500 megahertz version. So we are hitting the ground on these things substantially sooner than anyone had predicted. And again, our engineering teams have been working their tails off to bring these things to you because we think they're so cool and we want to get them in your hands. Now, if you don't find what you're looking for in our three models, you can go to the Apple store and build whatever you want, custom build to order, one of over 8,000 different configurations that you can build yourself. So that is our new Power Mac G4. And now I'd like to get Phil back up on stage and we're going to show you. Now remember, one of our design goals for this machine was to make it the ultimate Photoshop machine. Right? We all use Photoshop day in and day out and Photoshop can be incredibly demanding. So we wanted to build the fastest ultimate Photoshop machine in the world. So Phil, what's the first demo we're going to do? Photoshop, Steve. <laughs> great. <laughs> this is great. I've never had the chance to demo a supercomputer before. Um, what we have on the left screen, you're going to see a, um, a new Power Mac G4 running at 500 megahertz. On the right, it takes a little second longer to load up its stuff. It's not part of the demo. <laughs> and on the right, I have the fastest Pentium PC you can buy. It's a Compact Desk Pro, 600 megahertz, Pentium 3, all the power, all the power you can get. And what we have here is the same file on both machines, a Photoshop file created by an artist who is working on the launch uh, of, of, a, of a movie in the channel. And this is actually kind of documents and steps he takes to create some point of sale materials. And we're going to use one of the powerful features of Photoshop 5.5 the ability to create scripts and automate your workflow inside Photoshop to run them on both machines. Now, on the hard disk of every Power Mac G4 we ship, we're including a Photoshop 5 plugin from Adobe 
that automatically senses that A, you have Photoshop 5, and B, you're running on a Power Mac G4, loads the plugin in that takes full advantage of the velocity engine. And that's what we're running here. Okay. So, Phil. Can you count us down? Sure. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So the image is being created. We're bringing in graphics. We're using filters and effects, lighting effects, Gaussian blurs, transforms, all the things you need to do every single day in Photoshop. Looks like the Power Mac is uh, off to a strong start here. Pentium's a good machine. We'll, we'll give it a chance. Now, you can recognize in these operations probably the same things you do every single day with Photoshop. Now, we're going to transform Buzz. We're going to reduce him dramatically. A nice progress bar. This is one of those operations that just keeps us all waiting in Photoshop, as you know. And, uh, <clears throat> but the wait is going to be a lot less now. All right. Let's see. Oh, we're done on the Power Mac T4. And the, uh, the Pentium's building the floor. All right. There's Buzz. We don't get a progress bar in the Windows version, but uh, we do get the hourglass. There. Really doing its work. I wish I could make this faster for you, but <laughs> now we did everything we could to help it. I can tell you two things while we're waiting. The first one is if you think everything this fall has to do with Toy Story 2, well, you're right. <laughs> and uh, secondly, uh, to take some of the suspense out of the demo, the Power Mac G4 executing these very common Photoshop tasks is 2x, literally twice as fast as the fastest Pentium 3 money can buy running at 600 megahertz. Twice as fast. It, it feels more than that. It does. <laughs> Well, you have to remember that twice your lifetime is two lifetimes, so it can add up. <laughs> All right. There we go. Pentium's now done. All right. Now we're going to set up another demo for you, and this demo test memory bandwidth. Remember we said there was three times the memory bandwidth on the new Power Mac G4s compared with the G3s? Well, now we're going to compare it again against the fastest Pentium 2 running at 600 megahertz. So, Phil, what are we going to do here? Well, what we have here is a set of actions that um, don't push the processor, but rather memory bandwidth. It's going to take a 8-bit image, convert it to 16-bit, something you need to do for a lot of operations, go through a number of rotates on the image, finish it, and convert it back to 8 bits to be done into print. Very standard processes that are really very memory bound. This is a standard Adobe test image, isn't it? Yes. All right. Why don't you count us down for bandwidth? OK. Three, two, one, go. All right. We're off to the races here. So it's doing some conversions and some rotates. And the Power Mac on the left is done. And the Pentium is uh, still working on it here. The good thing is, is it usually does finish. <laughs> OK, Pentium is done. So the Power Mac G3, for those of you who are counting, is again a little over twice as fast as the fastest 600 megahertz Pentium 3. Now the next thing we're going to show you is a QuickTime encode. QuickTime encode of a QuickTime file that you might be familiar with. Um, running on both the Power Mac G4 and the Pentium 3 with the same exact software. Phil, you want to tell us precisely what we're going to look at here? Sure. We're using Media Cleaner Pro, and it's using some new accelerated QuickTime uh, codecs to take full advantage of the Velocity Engine. We're going to take a movie, a DV movie brought in an MPEG format, and we're going to transcode it right into a...